Hello, everybody. How are you? Hope you guys are doing well. Let me know when you're on. Make sure to say hello. I'm Teresa, Teresa Renee Art. And last night we worked on some decoupage shoes. Tonight we are going to finish them. We don't have much left to do, actually. Just a little bit of um, trim work. Uh, but um, so we'll get you out of here probably right on time, right at eight. Um, I did have to move my time. I was scheduled for um, um, Thursday, but unfortunately I had a conflict with Thursday. So I am here with you today at a different time. Thank you for bearing with me and being here anyway. Hey, Rima. Thank you. Thank you for joining me anyway, even though I had a little bit of a time change. Um so, yeah, no worries. Yep, we are going to finish. Um, I did do a little bit last night. I actually did um, one of the shoes. I uh, painted it, um, like did all the touch up to it, and I'll do a little bit more today um, just to, you know, kind of get an overall feel for how it was going to look. Um, so... Hey, Melanie, how are you? If you're watching replay, make sure to put in hashtag replay so that I know you uh, watched. And you can also sign up for my Telegram channel to get notifications. And I don't think I actually put it in this time, but it is. I'm going to drop that link right here. Uh, there it is. Hey, Cindy, nice to see you. Yeah, so um, I think they came out really good and uh, are going to continue to, to do well. I am, um, uh, I'm going to wear them. I am going to wear them. Um, so <laughs> I plan to get as much wear as possible out of them. So I will let you know how that goes. And... Uh, and we will do that. All right, so I'm gonna turn the camera down. If you pop on, make sure to say hello. Um, and again, if you do end up watching the replay, make sure to say hashtag replay. How's everybody's day been? You guys had a good one so far? I know it was just last night since I saw you, um, but hopefully everybody had a good day. Let me know how, how your day has gone. It was a little bit crazy, there was a, um, there was a shooting in Atlanta today in Midtown and I happened to be down that way when it was happening. So things were kind of crazy. And then my kid's school got put on high alert. So it's been a little bit, um, you know, like nerve wracking today, but everybody's, we're all good. We're safe. We're home. Um, everything is okay here. Yeah, it was, uh, it was kind of scary. Uh, it was down at a hospital or a medical building um, in Midtown. So, all right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to finish. I've already done this shoe and I've already done um, the gray paint and I might do a little bit more, but I just wanted to show you like how I would go about now you know, fixing some of my little problems. And basically what you want to do is you want to try to find a paint that is as close as possible to the primary color that you're working with. And in this case, that's going to be gray. This is not exact, but it's close enough. And again, these are going to be on my feet. <laughs> so I don't think anybody's going to be down there with a microscope. Hey, Maddie. Nice to see you. Um, so I'm just going to take, and this is fabric and leather paint. And I'm just going to start by kind of taking it and um, blending over some of those white areas. And um, it's, you know, it's not going to be like perfectly blended, obviously, because this color is slightly off but i don't feel like really mixing up a different color um 
So I think it's, and it's, it's going to work just fine for what I need. So remember where we tore around some of those little um, surfaces? That's this white, some of these little white tears that you're seeing in here. And I'm going to just kind of dab that same color gray, like around in some other spots too, just so it, it doesn't stick out in the few spots that I'm having to touch up. So it's starting to make it look pretty cohesive. Um, and then I'm going to take and I'm going to kind of do around these edges too, so that it really does um, blend all the way around. I do not really recommend, like if you have a really, if you're confident about your first, um, your first layer of decoupage glue, I don't really recommend sealing these again. And the reason for that is because if you do it more than once, um, the, that this particular decoupage glue that we're using can become a little bit stiff. And what can happen is the paper will start to stiffen and it will, it will start to buckle a little bit. And so it's really better just to make really good contact the first time and then to do one solid coat and then to heat set it. I did already heat set these. Um, but I, it, and that allows it to kind of stay pliable as well. Um, so I think if you get too much, like if you try to do a second coat and you get too much product on there, it's going to have the opposite effect of what you want. So just do one really nice coat and then heat set it and that should be plenty. If you find that your paper is pulling away in some areas as you are wearing the shoe, um, just repair it and repair it with just that spot, you know, with, with a little bit of glue and just that spot. And that's what happened here. So I wore the shoe and um, the paper like gave a little bit and tore away a little bit. So I just repaired that one spot. Um, and I think it's because I didn't get, a, a good enough, um, adhesion in that one spot. So, so I'm just taking, this is just fabric paint and I'm just, all I'm doing is just, um, touching up some of my white areas. Um, for what you use for the heat setting, um, you can just use an iron. I use this little Cricut iron. And you just want to use like a cotton setting and it's about 30 seconds in each spot, which can feel like an awful long time when you're doing this, but it works out. Okay. Uh, I do recommend putting like, um, a barrier in between like a pillowcase or something. So this this really, you know, like it seemed intimidating, right? But by the time we're done with it, it's really not, it is not bad at all. So I've got a couple little spots here where um, the glue is uh, not all the way down. So I'm just gonna take that, like right underneath here, it didn't get quite good all the way down. So we're just going to take a little bit and mash that down. So, and you can, you know, like, even if you've worn these for a little while on it, even if the paper starts to come up again, you can certainly um, touch up 
as you go. Uh, and that's kind of the beauty of it is um, it's really going to be difficult to to mess them up at this point because we can fix our problems, right? We, we know we have white paint. We know we have gray paint. We certainly have more paper if we need it. So even if like a section of it peeled away, I have more of this paper, I can just do it again. Um, and that's what I was saying too, like, you know, somebody asked about washing and even if it did like disintegrate in the washing machine, sand it off and start over. <laughs> I've invested one and a half hours of my life, right? So it's not that, not that big of a deal. Um, all right. Amazon. Yeah, it's just a little mini iron, Rima. Um, and I did. I got it from Amazon. It's it's called the Cricut. Um, the one that I got, they have all different kinds. You could just search for a mini iron, but this is the one that I got, the Cricut Easy Press Mini. Um, only because I own a Cricut machine and I I was thinking if if it can be used with my Cricut machine too or something. Maybe that's the one I should get, but I don't know that it matters. I don't think it matters. Any kind of little iron, like crafting iron, if you search for mini crafting iron, that would do the trick too. A regular iron might be a little bit tough. So kind of seamless looking, really. I mean, look how look how uh, awesome that looks, you guys. I don't really see any much more um, that needs a lot of work. No, it's fine. Totally fine. Totally fine. That's why we're doing it is to help get you confident so that you can try it yourself. And uh, the right tools certainly do help. Um, so the only other thing that I really wanted to do is just take a little bit of white and get up around this trim a little bit where some of my paper started to overlap a little bit. Um, so I just wanted to get a little bit of white out and just sort of work on some of these um, little spots here just to clean that up a little bit. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. I'm definitely going to wear them. I'll let you know how they hold up and how much repairing I have to do. I do think I'll have to do some kind of as they stretch and give, but I'm prepared for that and I'm totally okay with that. Um, and any parts that might lift up, like I said, I'll just stick a little bit more glue down and press it right back down. Uh, let's see. What else do I have here? I had some over here that needed a little bit of sealing. Um, I'm, you know, and I might inspect them like every time I wear them. <laughs> well, good. Okay. So this one is called, for those of you who don't know, this is from the Decoupage Queen line, and this one is called Winter Damask. And we do have 
many retailers that watch that carry this particular paper. So if you do happen to have this paper um, and you are a retailer, feel free to share your link. Also, if you happen to have this varnish and glue, which is the decoupage varnish and glue for textile, um, feel free to share there as well. And if you also carry our fabric paints, which we have in many, 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 many colors, um, by all means, share as well. We don't sell pent art products on the Deck Pudge Queen website, so you do have to get them through a retailer. Okay, so there you go. I have done my touch up there. Um, I feel like I'm ready to wear these and I did already heat set them last night. Um, so that's about as much as I really need to do. And I think they're quite lovely. Tomorrow I will take some really beautiful photos of them and everyone's going to go, wow, that's amazing. And I'm going to say so easy, right? All right, so thank you guys for joining for that. Um, I was actually thinking, you know, we were, I was thinking about doing the bottle, but then I decided I don't really want to do the bottle because um, I really want to do another crown bottle or something with a flat front. Um, so I'm, I'm going to try to find another bottle because the two that I had yesterday I don't think are going to work very well for the paper. Um, so I think I'm going to do a journal cover. Um, and I really wanted to use one of these little dress papers on a journal cover. Um, I'm not sure which one, probably this one, because I haven't used this one yet. So I think I want to do a journal cover with this and then um, potentially um, start filling this little journal up. So that's what I'm going to do. Stick around if you if you want to work on this with me. Um, Cindy already knows the drill here. So this is what uh, I did, Rima. I did heat set it. Um, so I took an old book and I cut, I cut the guts of it out. This is my favorite way to make journals and books because you just take a, instead of like building your own, you just take one that's already built and repurpose it. Um, and I get these books at Goodwill and then I save the insides for um, other little projects and stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to prime this with white paint and I was probably going to actually take a couple of coats. Um, and then we will do this little journal cover or at least start it. And, and then we'll, we'll work on that little journal. <laughs> I know I'm addicted to these. I love them so much. Um, they're, they really are like one of my favorite things to do. And I, I have some of the ones that I made like from early on and they just like, they just feel so special. I don't know what it is um, about them, but they're awesome to give like as gifts. I love giving these as gifts. So we're going to make one and um, we're going to just have some fun with it. I'm in the mood to do a journal. So um, I, you know, and I've told people this before too, like, you know, I know a lot of people really like junk journaling and I really like the idea of junk journaling, but when it's just me and like the pages of a journal page, um, I get, I, I tend to get a little bit stuck <laughs> and I don't know what to do. So what I'd rather do is make a beautiful, uh, just make the, the journal itself and leave it blank and then let somebody else fill it up. So that is my take on junk journaling and I have all this stuff like I have so much so many 
little um, journal pieces and scraps and stuff. Um, but I don't know what to do with it. And I see people's stuff and I think, oh, that's so cute. I should do that. Uh, but I don't. Hey, Terry. And I think here's what I think. This is this is my conclusion. I think that I get whatever that is. Um, I do that digitally and I get whatever that is out of my system when I'm designing papers. And so and I do so much of that that to sit down and do it like with real papers seems um like oh, okay so i'm not gonna this is not i'm not bashing it in any way but it just seems to me for for me it seems like wasted effort when i could just be i could spend that time productively and um design a paper because it's this it's really the same concept is like collaging and layering and stuff like that and so All right, now I'm gonna hit this just one more time with the white. Hey, Kelly, nice to see you here. Thank you for joining. How are you? Hi, Nancy, how are you? We're done with the shoes. Uh, Y'all, I finished the shoes. It didn't take me very long at all, but I'll show them to you and I'm gonna wear them. Um, I'm gonna wear them really soon. So there you go. That was the first part. We're all done. Um, and they fit and they look great. And I'm so excited. So now we're just working on a journal cover. And I'm going to build another journal. Because I love them. <laughs> I love building journals. I really do. In fact, like, if I could only choose one craft like one type of decoupage craft to do this is what i would choose i would just be a journal maker and i know like a lot of people feel that way about um ornaments you know i am not as much of an ornament maker um Although I did do some that I was proud of last year for Christmas. Um, but I would just make journals. That's what I'll do. No, Nancy, you know I'm not filling the journals. <laughs> I'm just making journals. I don't actually do journaling. Uh, even though I have all this stuff to do it.
Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this dress on the journal. Um, I am gonna have to do a little bit of blending, but that's okay. You're gonna have to bear with me while I do some blending. Um, just comes with the territory. Let's see. Uh, and I really need to go up to the shop and get more papers. Um, I think I've done, I think I've used like all the decoupage clean papers. So I need to, I need to start branching out. Uh, there are some new paper designs papers in that I want to use. Oh, but there's so many projects and so little time, you know, truly. Oh, let me show you guys while I have you. I want to show you a couple new things. Um, so I think um, on Saturday... Um, for the Royal Court Live on Saturday. Uh, and I'll let you guys decide what I'm gonna do. If you want, we can take a vote what I for what I do on Saturday. So I'm on at one with Mara, and I'm thinking I'm either gonna do a tissue, this tissue box holder. Um, so I'm either gonna do that, or I'm gonna do this little birdhouse. So I'm not sure which one, I'll let you guys vote which one I should do on Saturday. But those just came in. Uh, I know a few of our, a couple of our retailers bought some today. I actually just listed them last night. Um, so I did get, I did get those in. And um, I'm not sure which one, birdhouse, birdhouse. Okay. Yeah, I like birdhouses. Uh, birdhouse either Melanie says either um, she's also working on oh look at that she's also working on um, a church for me so hopefully I'll have that one soon they're on your list yeah they're cute I got um, I ordered like 60 but she's sending them to me as she makes them so if I'm, I'm not out yet, but I probably will be soon. So if, if, I, if they're out by the time you get to it, Rima, um, I will be getting more. So um, we're just, we're going to keep those in stock because they're sort of like essentials. Okay. So here we go. Here's my dress. I am going to do this dress and I'm going to have a fair amount of blending to do, which is no problem. Um, so let's get that on here and then we can start working through what we need to do to get this blended. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. I like the cube ones a lot. Um, but I thought the rectangular would be nice just to do something a little bit different. It does not quite fit a whole um um it doesn't fit a whole full size box in it it will fit like one of those thinner kleenex box but like what you can do is just take the kleenex out of the box and put it in the holder um so it is very cute i'm excited so yes, I, there will definitely be a Kleenex box in my future. And then on Sunday, I'm going to be live in um, a group, um, the Junk Journals and Mixed Media Inspirations group. I'm going to be live there on Sunday um, at, I think, 3 p.m. I think it's 3 p.m. Um, and I think I might do, um, 
books. I think I might start like this little book. This is a little book from Stamparia. So I think I might start that over there because it's not so big and overwhelming that maybe I can do like the cover and maybe a couple little pages in it. So I don't know. It does say it's mixed media group also, and it doesn't have to be junk journals. <laughs> so maybe I'll do a mixed media piece. I don't know. We'll see. I got to think that one through. It's a new audience for me. Yes, latex gloves. That's a great idea for sure because I'm always um, pulling out my latex gloves. Great, great, great idea, Terry. Well, yeah, and then add to the fact that Nancy and Terry, that on Saturday, um, Anna Finna Bear is going to be live. So I'm literally like on, you know, the next day after Finna Bear. So my mixed media is definitely not going to compare to hers. <laughs> so I'm like, I know you're not supposed to compare yourself to other people, but um, I want to do something kind of different, you know. So anyway, I don't know. All right, let me keep drying this. Hold on. Okay. Oh, Terry, you're so sweet. Thank you so much. All right, let's get um, let's get our big bucket of paint out and see if we can start matching up some colors here and uh, doing some blending. All right, so um maybe this one i need definitely some dark this has like um it's like a little bit of brown with a little bit of green in it and you look i totally picked the wrong dress i was supposed to do the other dress not this one because i've already done this dress before i got too busy chatting um that i wasn't paying attention that's all right this one's good. Hey, Erica, how are you? So you guys, um, my friend Erica is on. Everybody say hello. This is my my good friend Erica. Um, Erica is the proud recipient of the sewing machine project. So she just got that one from me to her. Um, Erica is my friend who loves um, sewing. So she actually taught me how to knit a few Christmases ago. Um, she, she, which I don't knit anymore and it's no reflection on her. Uh, and then like 
so what I would do is I would send her like these ridiculously hard projects and I would be like, um, can you teach me how to knit this? <laughs> and she had no problem telling me that my skill level was nowhere near ready for the project I wanted to do. So my career as a knitter was very short lived. And it, again, it is no reflection on her. <laughs> One year for Christmas, she bought me a, well, she actually bought me like y'all, this woman, she bought me um, a whole knitting kit, like a bag with yarn and all the needles that I needed. And she, like, she was going to do everything she could to guarantee my success with this new endeavor. Um, and uh, anyway, I had a lot of fun with it. I made a couple pot holders. I made a couple. Uh, I did actually make a scarf or two. Uh, I made some hats. I did try. And then she got me like um, this ridiculously large ornament for my Christmas tree that was like knitting needles. It was so funny. So anyway, she makes fun of me now. <laughs> oh, goodness. I did try. I, I, it was something I really wanted to try. But again, I think y'all, I've told you guys like, um, I, my fine motor skills and my hands are not that great. And I used to draw like with pencil, like a pencil and, um, my hands would cramp up from using the pencils. And it's kind of the same with knitting, like, cause you have to really like concentrate on what you're doing and you're you're using like really small hand motions and my hands just couldn't take it. Neither can my eyes or my patience. So anyway, we gave it a Girl Scout try. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Nice to see you here. Thank you guys for joining. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Thank you for joining. So I'm just blending out like all I did, I'm using a little bit of earthy brown. I'm using some of this metallic, which is ivy green. And the other one that I used was a little bit of the khaki. All right. And I am going to like, eventually we're going to come to a little bit of a hard stop down here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to bring this dress down a little bit more continuously. And it's not going to be perfect, but it will be good enough. So let's take a little bit of this gold. Yeah. Um, that's why I like I that's why I love decoupage and mixed media so much is because I feel like I'm doing fine art, uh, but it doesn't make my hands hurt and I can get through projects much quicker. Um than other types of alternative things that I would do. That is fabric paint. Let's get a little bit of this. So I'm just trying to blend a little bit of oh. just trying to kind of make it fade down into here without being overly noticeable that it's off, you know? So I'm just using kind of a mixture of different um, colors to get there, sort of grayish.
And then sometimes you have to get your paint up into the, the dress, the picture too, to, to blend it down. My kids are singing songs from the sound of music there. Okay. So I am going to do, um, I'm probably going to do like the, the gold chameleon varnish on this one, which is also going to kind of help uh, camouflage my imperfect um, blending. <laughs> you guys are funny. Yeah. All right. So now I'm just going to take that same thing and just kind of come up in there. So it sort of looks like the dress is fading at the edges. Okay. All right, and now what I want to do is um, I'm going to paint this spine first. I don't know what I'm going to do over here yet. I haven't decided, um, but I do know that I want to add a couple of, of these little flowers back up in here. Oh, Rima and that apron. So funny. <laughs> Should we just name the cocoa paper? Should we just name it um, Rima? We just name it Rima um, and retire it. We'll just retire it. How about that? So nobody else can ever use it. So funny, you guys. So if you missed the whole ordeal, here's what went down. Um, Terry makes really beautiful aprons. Uh, and she made one that Rima grew particularly attached to. But said apron was going in an auction. And Rima made sure to let everyone know um, that the paper was hers. <laughs> I kind of think now that I'm looking at this, I think that this backside needs to be painted the same way. So I am going to do that 
here and I'm using, uh, what I'm using is earthy brown and ivy blue. Um, I'm, what I'm probably going to do is add like a little bit of a texture stencil or something underneath it or over top of it just to give it a little bit of texture, but I can do that um, after it's painted. So I just don't like looking at this white, um, all this white back here. So I'm going to take one of our new decoupage queen stencils though um, and give it some attention back here. But I'm going to go ahead and paint it in the meantime. My kids are, uh, think they're like horses or something up there. They're running around like crazy people. I think they want me to, I think what, I think they want me to start yelling. Cause they don't think that I will, but I totally will. All right. All right. Okay. All right. So there we go. Let me hit this with a dryer real fast. Um, and then I'll do, I'll go ahead and I'll do the chameleon varnish on here. Actually, I did say I was going to put some flowers in there, which I am. So let me do that. And flowers, I want a little bit of pink. I want a little bit of purple and probably a little bit of khaki. Thank you, Rima. <laughs> um, what is the blue? The blue is um, ivy green, Nancy. This blue here is country blue. And I just used a little bit of it down here in the dress. Okay, let's take, um, I just want to add a, a couple more flowers up here. So. That's all I'm doing here. And they're not going to be like perfectly formed flowers or anything. But they are going to just kind of make it look a little bit continuous up here. Okay. Yeah, I love all those country colors. Hey, kids. Yes, I'm talking to you. Ooh, I heard some doors shut. Evan, Emily, and Elizabeth.
Okay, wow. So they think because the doors are shut that I can't hear them anymore, but I totally can. Hey guys, guys, yeah. come here for a second. Hi. Hello. Do you know what I'm going to tell you? Quiet. Yeah. yeah. What? Do you know what I'm going to tell you? Be quiet. Yes. Shut our mouths. <laughs> In the nicest of ways. Okay, bye. Bye. Are you on live? Yes, I am. Oh, you just got in trouble. Yes, you sure did. <laughs> uh, Erica says she misses you. They miss you too, Erica. All right. So there we go. I think I think that's good. That just sort of fills out, kind of blends my flowers up a little bit more. Uh, and then if I don't like it, I can always come in behind it and change it. Um, all right. So let me hit this with a dryer. And then uh, let's put that gold varnish on it. Let's do that. This is earthy brown. They are 13, 11, and 10. And that was the 13 and the 10 year old that were, they're running around like crazy people. <laughs> They're like, did we just get in trouble on a live? Yes, you did. It's embarrassing. <laughs> nope. Do not forget, I will totally discipline my children anywhere and everywhere. All right, so I'm going to hit this with a hair dryer, and then we're going to get some gold varnish. Hi. Thank you for asking. All right, so let's um, get our brush out and then we're going to use this gold. I'm going to put this gold right over the top, just right here, because I'm not done with this side yet. I'm not sure what else I'm going to do over there, but I know that I I know that I want this gold here, and I really don't think I need anything else, like embellishment wise or anything either. So um, this is the gold chameleon varnish, y'all, and this stuff is like really amazing. Um, <laughs> Uh, I sold out of it very quickly, but I have more in Rima. I think you have this, right? Um, so if you, if you're a retailer and you have this, cause I know some people are going to be asking for it once they see, let me show you what happens when you put this on. It, it is, it's like magic. Um, Yeah. 
It is so, so good, y'all. All right. Let me hit that with a blow dryer. Okay, so again, this is the Pentart uh, Gold Chameleon Iridescent Varnish. And that's what we that's what we end up with. Look at all that gold sparkle. When you look at it straight on, like straight on like that, you can't really see it. But then when you move it around in the um the light, it just really, really reflects all that gold. So I think I'm done with the front. And then I'm going to put probably some, um, I'm probably going to put some stenciling or something back here. Whatever I do is not going to be like crazy ridiculous that you wouldn't be able to figure out. Um, so I'll, I'll probably go ahead and finish this this weekend, not on a live. But I did want to show you guys like the blending and then that gold varnish as well um, so that you can kind of see the effect of that. So I'll probably will finish this up over the weekend and then um, Tuesday we'll be back here and we will start something new and um, make sure to join me on Saturday for the Royal Court uh event i'll be on at one with mara we start at noon all of those are going to be playing on the royal court page we start at noon we go till what like seven something crazy like that uh and each presenter is going to have two people at a time presenting so it's going to be like non-stop entertainment for seven hours there is also going to be a giveaway so we're giving away three gift cards um worth or three goodie bags worth 150 dollars each um yep so uh we're gonna have we're just gonna have so much fun <laughs> i do have a crown rima yes i do remember my friend sonia sent me a crown um so that's all i have for you now and uh i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening and thank you so much for being patient with me on my schedule this week and i will see you on saturday all right thank you bye everybody